Hey, today's pour is totally inspired by my friend Stefania, um, who did an amazing piece, and she even inspired me so much so that I bought the same mold that she has from Etsy. Um, and I kind of regret not buying a bigger one of that. It's such a beautiful shaped mold, so I might have to uh, consider that. So, and the piece that um, Stefania did was inspired by Petra, uh, her video number 483, which I will link below. Um, I'm Both Stefania and I are doing it a little differently, and I'm following um, <clears throat> what Stefania did. And one of the colors um, that she used was Wisteria, which I happen to just receive. So um, I've always wanted Wisteria, so I bought it. So anyway, I think... I, I don't remember the name, maybe um, th this wisteria is from Octopus Resin Inks and a very sweet friend of mine helped me get it. So the resin that I'm using is Art Pro Resin from Resin Pro. Uh, I've just mixed up my wisteria, hopefully it's not too dark. <clears throat> I'll just keep stirring it while I chat with you. In the other cup here, I've mixed up some mica powder uh, from Unicone Art, and it's called Blush. Um, then I am going to uh, put in my cup some clear resin, the Art Pro resin. I didn't let it sit or anything. Um, I've just mixed the part A and B according to the calculator that Resin Pro provides you. It's an app. It's wonderful. It's so easy. You just choose which resin you're going to use and then put down how much you want and then it tells you what to do. Um, <clears throat> for my white, gosh I hope I did enough resin. Um, for my white I am going to be using the Etta, Drop, Etta Art White Pigment Drops and um, I'm just pouring in my other cup a small amount um, of my Art Pro Resin, so I'm using the Etta, Etta Art Drop. Now I believe um, Stefania did some Interference Gold as well into the white. I'm going to leave mine alone, just, um, just for something different. I haven't decided what centerpiece to use, meaning um, my <coughs> glass, crushed glass or glitter mix. Um, just I'll just have to wait and see when the colors mix up and see what happens. <clears throat> I haven't done a pour in this size, this size of a mold in a while, so it just seems like all my resin cups are too little, even the clear. So I've said, as I've said before, these techniques are all incredible <clears throat> and looks so easy. Because, you know, it's a, it looks like you just pour um, one color, another color, and then another color. But it's all a matter of whether you have the right resin that you're using for the technique, the right inks, amount of inks, uh, or paste, or mica powder that you're using. So, let us see how this turns out. Oh, pretty wisteria. I'm so happy I got this color. I've had, I haven't purchased any new octopus resin inks in a while so it was kind of fun to get a new color and of course these colors um ooh, i think i'm going to stir a little bit more looks a little strainy these colors are always i always find these um from petra she always uses many different colors from octopus resin inks she also uses um etta art but we can't get etta art inks so <clears throat> resin octopus resining is the closest so my first pour is the um, wisteria I'm pouring it in the center oopsie boopsie Trying to keep it in the center. Just mix 
fix it. Yeah, I didn't fix that very well. Maybe because it's a new ink or I didn't shake the bottle. So. All right. <clears throat> then the next one you put in the center is the mica powder. <clears throat> and I always stir this off camera because I wear a mask. I'm very sensitive to the powder, any sort of powders that I use. So. <clears throat> stir this some more because um, you really need to stir your mica powders very thoroughly. <clears throat> I mean I suppose you have to you know stir everything thoroughly but even more so for your mica powders. <clears throat> Hope everyone is enjoying their day for whenever you're watching this. It actually happens to be a nice sunny day here in the Bonnie Lake area outside of Seattle. Okay, now the mica powder goes in the center. I was going to torch uh, first, but my purple, my wisteria didn't go all the way to the edge of the mold and I was afraid of destroying my brand new mold. Oh, maybe I will have enough. Thank you, Stefania. Okay, so that's the mica powder. <clears throat> and thank you, Petra, of course. <clears throat> then I'm going to mix my white a little bit better. Now that it's spread a bit, I can torch. And as you can see, I try not to stay in one spot too long. All right, here comes the white. Haven't done this, these crackle effects uh, pour in a long time. So for me, what's interesting is like, if I'm supposed to pour, you know, mix 90 grams of art pro resin, and, and if I f do only 90 grams per the calculator, I seem to run short. So I always mix a few grams more um, than what I need so that when I pour into my different cups, I get what I'm supposed to, to get. Okay, now for the last, which is the clear. Pour that in the center. Looks like I could have maybe have used even a little bit more resin because I still see a little lip available. Boy, I'm thinking like maybe even 20 more grams. Interesting. Okay. All right. Now, while that settled in, I'll go decide what So I bought these new um, sort of ABS, or I think they're called um, crushed glass from Timu. 
and um, they've got like an iridescent look to it. So I'm going to put some of the resin that I have to sort of make it sticky. Yep. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Pour it in the center. I don't know if this is the right color. I kind of use like a peach color. Oh my god, me and my colors is just crazy. Okay, oops. Telephone ringing. I'll be there in just a second. I'll let that sit for a bit. Sorry about that interruption. Okay, so cool. Those um, crushed glass sank in. This is the first time using those too. So, ooh, fingers crossed. So next time I'm gonna make a note that I can actually use um, probably uh, 90, 110 grams total. So anyway, fingers crossed this turns out. I will see you for the unmolding. Alrighty. So tiny. I haven't done a tiny one in a long time. That looks really interesting. So um, let us see the outcome. <clears throat> yeah, next time I'm going to put in a little bit more resin. So, oh boy, here we go. Oh, very cool. Very, very, very cool. I love it. The only thing is my um, crushed glass that I bought sank to the bottom. So gosh, gosh darn it. But I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So I might have to put a sticker or, um, ooh, that got wet, um, or, you know, something. Or maybe just leave it alone, you know? So um, there we go. I love it. Thank you so much for watching.